Hello, my dear students. I am Mukesh Turwani, Assistant Professor in MLB Textile and Engineering College, Bilwada. The subject is Manufacturing Processes and topic is Forming Process. Uh, this is a second part of estrogen process. In first part, uh, for first part of estrogen process, I, I, I had discussed about the estrogen, estrogen ratio, advantages of estrogen, limitation of estrogen, applications, this is a classification I had discussed uh, uh, in uh, earlier lecture and a hot estrogen process, what is hot estrogen process I had discussed uh, and uh, I also discussed the one, one part of the hot estrogen process which is direct estrogen. Uh, from today, uh, uh, in this uh, lecture, I, I am going to discuss the indirect estrogen and what is the cold est estrogen and the types of cold estrogens. Uh, what is indirect estrogen? Uh, in direct estrogen, uh, we had seen that uh, in direct estrogen, the direction of the uh, 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 force, rem force, and direction of the uh, direction of the estrogen part uh, uh, was uh, same. But in the in indirect estrogen, indirect estrogen, the direction of the uh, rem force uh, that means the line of uh, line of uh, uh, Force a uh, line of uh, action of the force uh, uh, and direction of the estrogen part is uh, is uh, different. And also in indirect estrogen, uh, one of the uh, one of the problem in direct estrogen was the there is a direct contact between blade, which is hot, hot and confining ch chamber. Due to this, the friction uh, was occurring in direct estrogen but this problem is not in the indirect estrogen as we can see in uh, from this diagram that the, there is no direct contact there is no direct contact of the uh, estrogen part with the uh, containing chamber so that the friction problem in indirect estrogen is reduced so the required force is lower uh, as compared to the as compared to the direct uh, estrogen the it is 25% to the 30% less in this process the uh, uh, low process west uh, we found now the cold estrogen uh, in uh, as we can uh, we have seen in the hot estrogen uh, mainly uh, uh, for doing the estrogen process we prefer the hot estrogen uh, uh, but uh, uh, but for uh, for if, if the material already have the ductile uh, property then we can uh, use the cold estrogen as well in co uh, cold estrogen in cold estrogen we don't have any problem of design of uh, dye uh, because uh, in uh, cold estrogen the uh, tem uh, temperature of the uh, temperature of the raw material is less as compared to the hot estrogen so that the corrosion problem in the uh, dye uh, is reduced Therefore, the design of uh, design of uh, uh, dye is not a problem in cold estrogen. Used uh, with low strength metals, low strength means uh, that means a uh, uh, ductile material uh, that is lead, tin, tin, zinc, aluminium. These are uh, all are the ductile material to produce the cholesterol tube for toothpaste, me uh, meditation, and uh, and other creams. Uh, like uh, we can uh, the uh, their uh, cans for the uh, for uh, for example can uh, for cold drinks nowadays uh, also been used for forming the mild steel parts we can uh, nowadays the mild steel part also can be uh, called as to date uh, uh, we uh, we have we know the uh, mild steel also have some ductile properties so the, uh, so we can use uh, we can use cold estrogen for mild steel also. Uh, this is a type of uh, uh, this is a type of cold estrogen process in which uh, this is a forward estrogen process uh, which, which is hydrostatic uh, estrogen. Hydrostatic estrogen is very important uh, proce uh, process for uh, estrogen. Uh, estrogen. Uh, what is this? Uh, hydrostatic estrogen is is a process in which the blade is completely circumscribed by the pressurized liquid in all case in all the cases with the exceptional being the case 
where the blade is in the contact with the dye. Here the blade is uh, here the this is a blade. This is a blade part. Uh, this is a fluid circumscribed by the uh, uh, blade, but the one part of the blade is con direct contact with the dye. High pressure, high pressure fluid applies the force to the workpiece through the dye. How can, uh, this process can occur? If we uh, force the uh, force from the rim, this uh, rim force to the fluid, then fluid particles uh, 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 go away from the rim, uh, rim so uh, and uh, give the pressure to the grip, uh, give the uh, give pressure to the uh, uh, blade, which is uh, uh, which is. Uh, uh, which is a uh, raw material and uh, this uh, pressure uh, uh, generate in uh, in all direction of the in all direction of the uh, blade then this pressure will uh, flow the uh, raw material uh, uh, that is blade and the blade will contact with the dye then after contact we get the extruded part in this, uh, uh, th 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 there is a one uh, advantage in this uh, process is that uh, we have a fluid in uh, in this uh, process, so uh, we don't need any any lubrication for uh, for this process. We can produce the we can produce uh, the uh, brittle mate uh, material uh, 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 in this process. It is a forward estrogen, as I have uh, said, but the uh, fluid pressure surrounding the blade prevents the upsetting. Blade chamber friction is eliminated because there is a fluid, there, uh, there is not a direct contact of the uh, blade with the container, therefore, the here the friction is uh, zero and the Pressurized fluid act as a lubricant between the blade and the dye. Continue. Temperature temperature is limited since the uh, fluid act as a heat sink, and the common fluids burn the de uh, burn or decompose at the moderately low temperature. In this case, in this process, uh, the uh, we have to use the cold estrogen process. Called estrogen why? Because the, the if the temperature of the temperature of the raw material will uh, is high, then we uh, the it will uh, the fluid will burn or decompose at at the temperature. That temperature, the metal deformation is performed in a high compression environment. Crack deformation is suppressed, leading to phenomena known as press, pressure induced ductility. In this process, we get the high uh, deformable proper uh, deformable uh, part. Uh, uh, so this is a this uh, process is used for when we uh, we need the high compression environment uh, 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 and we need the high deformation. Then this process will uh, use relatively brittle material like cast iron, stainless steel, molybdenum, tungsten. Uh, various intermetallic compound can be plastically deformed without fracture uh, and material will limited ductility becomes highly plastic uh, as i said that uh, in the, in this process we can uh, part the uh, part the brittle materials also like cast iron stainless steel molybdenum uh, tungsten these part can also be uh, extruded uh, without use any uh, any type of uh, lubricants because we have a fluid in in uh, in this process, uh, without fracture, we can uh, part uh, this uh, uh, this type of material uh, from the estrogen process. Application of hydrostatic estrogen, at, uh, hydrostatic estrogen with the help of uh, the, uh, this uh, process, uh, we produce the nuclear reactor fluid rod, cladding of the metals, and making wires for less ductile material. If we have the less ductile material, that is the brittle material, we can make the wire uh, 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 by, by use of hydrostatic estrogen. Lubrication used in the estrogen process. For hot estrogen, for hot estrogen, glass is an excellent lubricant with the steel, stainless steel and high temperature metal alloys. 
why we use the hot estrogen hot, hot estrogen generally used when uh, we have the raw material of a uh, brittle in nature brittle in nature when uh, therefore in hot estrogen we have to use the lubricant which which is a glass uh, and for cold estrogen lubrication is critical especially with steel because of the possibility of the sticking between the workpiece and the tooling if lubrication breakdown most effective lubricant action is phosphate uh, uh, conversion coating on the workpiece uh, in in cold estrogen uh, lubrication is uh, crucial and it is a uh, very critical because if we uh, use the cold estrogen process in brittle material then it is a possibility of the crack uh, in in this case therefore the, the lubrication is critical in uh, cold estrogen therefore in uh, cold estrogen we use the lubrication is as phosphate estrogen thank you so much students this was the second part of the estrogen process uh, i have complete uh, uh, complete the estrogen process uh, thank you so much if you have any doubt or query you can comment or uh, i will reply for uh, for that thank you so much